talk to you a little bit about call dynamics and call types. What we got here is an Arkansas style single reed duck call. This is what I call the basic gem of duck hunting. When you're looking at a duck call, you've got a barrel, you've got an insert, you've got a tone board, you've got a reed, and some type of cork mechanism. Usually it's cork or plastic. If you got a higher end call, it's cork. If you've got a low end call, it's usually going to be plastic. Just a two part call, I usually like to call, always call with my reed facing up. That way, if I'm spitting, I'm blowing it out, blowing it down the barrel. That's my general, general rule of thumb is I want to grab the call and look down the barrel this way. So I'm going to give you an example of a Arkansas style single read open action call. <laughs> same thing is true, same barrel same insert with a little bit of modifications and shaving to create a different tone board but now we've got a double recall all the call parts are still the same actually this has got a plastic insert because that's what i chose to manipulate this call and it's actually got little, one little reed tone piece on it to keep separation between your double recall i want you to listen to the difference between the way a double recall and a single recall sounds here's your double here's your single Now, when I'm public hunting, it's always the single until I realize what the ducks are going to do. I'm going to yell at them until I say, oh, I've made a mistake. I'm going to come back to the single. So again, I'm going to show you these again. Double read. Single read. Double read. single reef because I'm trying to get their attention. But when you're working them in tight, four to six is all you need. Simple as that, guys. Thanks for tuning in for this tip about how to blow your single reed and how to blow your double reed and where those should be located when you're calling ducks or getting ducks' attention. Thanks for tuning in.